am so excited because this was something I was thinking about for the longest time. Like I knew who I wanted to help me and support me and who I wanted to bring here. So for it to be happening right now, I am happy. Very happy. I know there are some people that have bought the book already, but there are also some of my close friends who have not, but they're like, here, I want a book from you physically. So this event was perfect. Yes, this is Recreative Spaces, very organic. I wanted something that was intimate. The space is so inviting and so open. I was just like, yes, I wanted to be here. I hope that um, this is something that can definitely propel them forward and for them to kind of, yeah, in a sense, be inspired, but I don't want to be the like, inspirer kind of thing like that's not the whole thing but it's just like I'm telling my story essentially. The pieces that I have read so far it's like I'm reading kid on the page just like seeing it all come to play and how it's inspired me like all the dreams that I want to do all the things I want to accomplish and stuff like that so I think it's just like a constant reminder this is like it keeping me inspiration to keep going and like seeing something from start to finish this whole thing even with her book is just like a big inspiration so not just for me, but just how it's amazing how it's gonna to touch other people when they read the book. The main thing that I enjoyed was how personable she made it. It's something that can touch everybody in every moment of their life. Um, whether you're doing something good, whether you're doing something bad, um, you're going through any type of downfall or success, it's something that can touch you no matter what. I agree. I think my favorite part was the questions. Like I wasn't expecting her to like read part of her things and how and explain how her poems related to her and then ask us questions too. It got it really got you thinking about things. I really enjoyed that. Something that you're gonna do, whether someone agrees with it or not, you're gonna do what feels right. Yeah, for me, um, I mean, it sounds so cliche, but I think for me, being happy is something that I continue to do no matter what. There's things that in my life I've let phase me and I've let some circumstances and situations like consume me and consume what what was next for me. It um, halted my success. So um, no matter what, I will make sure to sustain my inner peace and just do whatever makes me happy. And that's what I will continue to do for the rest of my life. So how do you know Kia? <laughs> well, roommate, teammate, friend, family. Um, it was the first week in college and I Facebooked her. And I was like, hey, I recognize you from basketball. Um, did you play for so-and-so? And she was like, sure, yeah, I did. So I was like, are you going to the festival thing tonight? She was like, yeah. So. I go downstairs and I see her walking in front and I'm like, Kia turns around, she's like, Sabrina? It gives me a huge hug. And it's like at that moment you know like yeah. What kind of person Kia is. Exactly. <laughs> she did the same thing. We moved in freshman year and I'm walking out of our building and her and her mom and her sisters all have her stuff. And I look at Kia and I'm like, I think that's her. And she she when she sees me, she goes, Kaylee and drops all of her stuff. I was like, oh Kia. Yeah. <laughs> That's what started. No, we knew. My name is Rhea. I am, I guess I played the role as the hostess with Mostus and making sure the transition of today went well. And um, it was really phenomenal. I love butterfly girls go through a phase where, you know, they made the tease or they have a goal to accomplish and they kind of told no. And um, the, the theme of the, the butterfly that was once a caterpillar uh, I, I loved that poem. Whatever you're going through right now, just keep pushing, keep going forward, and you'll be able to say, look at me now, look how far I've come. So I, I, I really resonated with that poem. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Oh, right, you are the only one. See, I said, uh -huh. <laughs> That's cute, she's like, this is right? Oh, cute, Sam, is like yeah, that's, that's how I say to. Like to you. Oh, okay. Okay, she's like, okay, okay. Proud mama of Kia Dawkins. Kia is uh, such an exceptional, exceptional uh, woman. She's had losses, as we all have, but she has found how to channel all that positive and negative into extraordinary. And she really, really came through, came through, was able to um, deliver 
all the promises in the book. So they were even given an impromptu song. And that was <laughs> very, very good. One is one that talks about when we all are procrastinators, whether we admit it or not. And um, it just talks about when. When are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do that? When is the time? When is it gonna happen? When is it? And in the end of all of that, she just says, just tell me when. I mean, it was just, so you look back, I mean, as an adult myself, it makes me reflect on some of the things I need to do because, you know, you say, I'm gonna take care of it then, or I'm gonna take care of it. But actually, when is now? Because, you know, tomorrow is not promised. And she, she invigorates me. You know, I'm like, thank you, Kia. Just, just thank you. The event is over, everything's being taken down now, and I am thrilled. I'm happy, I'm a happy camper. I couldn't have asked for anybody else to be here for me, but it was such a intimate feeling. It was to be loved. I, I felt the love, I felt the support. I'm just grateful. You really, like when, when you see your ideas and everything coming together and being something that someone else can relate to, someone else can feel, I feel like I'm very happy. Out of the four poems that I've read, I always like am reminded of when you are loved. Like I think love is one of those things like a part of it is spiritual, a part of it is physical, you know, with people, but the energy that you feel from people, whether they're here or not, you know, whether they're alive or not. It's like that love is unquestionable. And when you feel it, you, you, can, you can go about your day. I appreciate it. It's a, such a beautiful feeling. There's no feeling like it. And I'm just so grateful that there was so much of it in one room for me on this one day that I've been praying for to happen. And it, the fact that it's here, it's happened, and there's just so much love. When You Are Loved, that's my, one of the, my favorite poems from the book and it it's resonates with me every day. For this to be something that literally started out of a dream in my head, I'm, I'm still pushing for that. Like, anything you wanna do, just keep dreaming it and it will, it will be.